The history of sunlight therapy dates back thousands of years, but only relatively recently has it taken off since new technology has allowed us to bring the sun indoors at an affordable price. And yes, this is actually a thing. So let's go back to the very beginning. It all started with the sun. Fundamentally, we know that the vast majority of life on Earth depends on light, specifically light from the sun. In these texts, the Hindu were using sunlight to treat skin conditions such as vitiligo, an occurrence of patchy, discolored skin. Thereafter, we can find several mentions of the use of sunlight to treat multiple conditions. Heliotherapy, derived from the Greek word helios, meaning sun, was the term coined for the use of sunlight for medical purposes in the early 1900s. Then in 1960, Ted Maimon created the first functioning laser. Interestingly, the laser was hypothesized decades earlier by Albert Einstein. In 1967, just a few years after the first functioning laser was presented to the scientific community, Andre Mester hypothesized that these concentrated light beams could potentially cause cancer due to their radiation levels. So he put together a study on mice with one group being the control group and the other being the laser group. Both groups were shaved. Not only did the laser group show no signs of cancer, but what was noticed was the laser group grew back their hair much quicker than the control group. It was at this time that Mester came to the conclusion that specific wavelengths of light can stimulate specific regenerative effects. NASA soon began studying the effects of red light in space and found it sped up the healing of superficial wounds. Over the last 20 years, scientists have found that LED lights or light emitting diodes had a very similar effect to that of lasers and that multiple wavelengths had positive effects on cells. LEDs are now in greater use as they are safe and affordable. We don't have to go into great depth into the scientific studies, but it's good to highlight that a lot of science exists which support photobiomodulation. Here we have studies on anti-inflammatory effects, increased performance in athletes, and eye disease. Increased cognitive functions for dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, depression, anxiety, and infertility in men and women. These are but six out of the over 7,000 studies done on photobiomodulation. This simply highlights the magnitude of red light therapy with more larger studies coming out every month. And it's very easy to search for articles. Simply use your search engine and type in photobiomodulation and the ailment. For example, photobiomodulation and joint pain or photobiomodulation and neuropathy. Our sun has always been known to be a major source of healing power. The Hindu people of 3,000 years ago were already harnessing the healing powers of the sun for their sick. The creation of the laser in 1960 allowed scientists to study the untapped regenerative powers of light waves. Since then, we have seen thousands of studies and a shift from lasers to LEDs, making home use safe and affordable.